What's going on? It's D-Man. Welcome back to another EA Sports UFC 5 video. Today, we're looking at five control changes in EA Sports UFC 5. I like UFC 5 because it feels familiar, but there are a few different controls that you should have in mind when you jump on this game. The first control that changed are takedowns. For the single layer takedown on PlayStation, this control changed to L2 plus square plus X. On X spots, that'll be LT plus X plus A. So instead of holding a trigger button and one face button, you'll be holding a trigger button and two face buttons on UFC 5 in order to complete single layer takedowns. While we're on single layer takedowns, let's go ahead and talk about the single layer power takedown. The single layer power takedown is the same as the single layer regular takedown, except you hold the face buttons. So you'll be holding L2 and make sure to hold square plus X. That's how you pick somebody up. And then you press another face button to slam them down to the ground. So on PlayStation, hold down L2 square and X for the power takedown. And on Xbox, hold down LT, X and A for the power takedown. And while we have Usman and Tamayev out here, do y'all want to talk about UFC 294? Maybe? No? It's all good, man. It's all good. Shout out to Tamayev. Good win for him. As he should, by the way. While we're talking about takedowns, let's talk about double leg takedowns also, because these controls are also different. So for double leg takedowns on PlayStation, you want to hold L2 and then tap triangle plus circle. On S spots, that'll be LT, Y, and B, and you'll go for that double leg takedown. So once again, on UFC 4, you were only pressing one face button. Now you have to press two face buttons, so be prepared for that. Um, I don't want you jumping right into online thinking the takedowns are the same. Takedowns are a really big part of MMA and UFC online. So make sure to get those thumbs adjusted and be ready for some of these controls. For the power double leg, it's the same as the regular double leg takedown. This time you're holding triangle and circle instead of just tapping it. So on PlayStation, you're holding L2 and then holding triangle and circle. On Xbox, you're holding LT and then holding Y and B, and you'll be able to get that double edge power takedown. Walk into the middle of the octagon, press another face button to slam them down, all right? So those are the takedowns. Those buttons are different. Now let's talk about a little bit of stand-up. On UFC 4, people love their spinning attacks, spinning elbows, spinning knee. I know your bodies but the spinning has changed on EA Sports UFC 5. To initiate a spin, and you can faint with this, you can get really crafty with this. So for the rear spin, all you have to do is press S plus circle on PlayStation. On S bots, that would be A plus B. For the lead spin, you wanna hold L1 and do S plus circle on PlayStation. On S bots, that would be L, B, A plus B. So that's how you initiate the spin. Once you spin, you press another face button to do an attack, all right? So square, so for example, if you spin and then press square, a spinning elbow will come out. If you spin and then press triangle, spinning back fist, spin and then press X, you'll get a wheel kit, so on and so forth, all right? The most important part is knowing how to spin in the first place, because I know a lot of people will try to spin to win on UFC 5. So next up, we have the uppercut. The uppercut control is different on UFC 5. In order to throw an uppercut on PlayStation, all you wanna do is hold R1 and press square or triangle. On S spots, that would be RB with X or Y. So for those people that like to mix in the uppercut with their combos, be on the lookout for this, especially if you didn't play the beta. If you try to play UFC 5 like UFC 4, what's gonna happen is you're gonna come out here, try to throw an uppercut. You're gonna try to clinch somebody and get knocked out. And I don't want that to happen to you. Just ask me how I know that's going to happen. Ask me how I know. So while we're on the topic of clinching somebody, let's talk about the new clinch control on ULC5. So on PlayStation, if you're in the orthodox stance, you just want to do square and X in order to go for a clinch attempt. If you're in Southpaw, you want to go for triangle and circle. On X spots, that would be X plus A for a clinch attempt in orthodox or Y plus B if you're in a Southpaw stance. Now, when you actually initiate the clinch, most of the controls are the same. It's the same to throw a hook, uppercut, knee, all that stuff. But getting in the actual clinch is kind of different. So next up, we're talking about elbows on UFC 5. It's not necessarily a new control. It's a whole new thing on UFC 5 that we need it back. So we're talking about elbows, right? We're not talking about standing elbows. We're talking about how to throw elbows while on the ground. And once again, we've had this in previous UFC games. I still wish we could spam elbows, but it is what it is. I'll definitely take this. But in order to throw an elbow on the ground, you of course want to posture up, hold R2 and press square or triangle. On S spots, that'd be RT and X or Y. 
Now keep in mind, once you posture up and throw an elbow, you will automatically posture back down. So I don't know if it's even worth it to throw this elbow, but if you can get a clean shot in, it's going to do a lot of damage. It's going to do a lot of hurt to your opponent, but it's really up to you if you throw it or not. I just wanted to show you how to use it on EA Sports UFC 5. Hopefully, once again, we can spam elbows again. We can get elbows and forearm attacks from being postured down, that would be cool. But for now, all we have is the posture up elbow, you throw it and then you posture down automatically. So those are five new controls in EA Sports UFC 5. I hope I was able to help somebody out, some casual like myself, because I am a casual. I won't be posting too many tutorials, but basic ones like this where I can help you all out, I definitely got you. In the comments below, be sure to let me know what you're looking forward to in UFC 5. Drop a like for more, and thank you for watching. You all be easy. Peace.